This is your brother, your son, and your friend in the Lord, wise man Daniel. I know many of you have been expecting to hear from me over the issue on ground. world has just lost a great prophet, a mighty warrior, a father, a brother, a mentor, a great one, and a friend in the Lord. I know you have must have been expecting me to to say one or two things, but I just decided to gather my broken pieces. You know what I mean? I'm a human being. And I thank God for the courage and strength. So far, so good. Yes, before I go any further, I would like to take you to the standard for our lives, the Holy Bible. First, let me take you to the book of uh, Ecclesiastes. Let me take you from verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verses 1 to 2. There is time for everything and a season for every activity under the earth. I repeat, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. Verse 2, a time to be born and a time to die. Let me also take you to the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Amos chapter 3. And verse 7. Surely the sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. And finally, let me take you to the book of Psalm 116 and verse 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. Wow. From these three books I've just read, you agree with me that everything about my mentor, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, has been predestined, programmed, as it should be by divine will. His coming onto this earth was prophesied about. Likewise, his exit, glorious exit, was also prophesied by him. It means God has arranged his activities on this earth. From these holy scriptures, or this holy book, which is the standard for our lives, I've been privileged to read it from beginning to the end, just twice. And I've come to realize that most great and mighty ministers of God don't live longer than necessary on this earth. Because their mission is delicate and their lifestyle is equally delicate. So therefore, it shouldn't be a surprise to you what is on ground now. Even the foundation of our salvation, blessed be his holy name forever and ever. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, 
spent only 33 years to wrote the mighty and great signs and wonders we are enjoying today. He paid the supreme price to bring salvation to our domain. He lived only 33 years on this earth. Out of those 33 years, 30 years was for preparatory. Only three years. He did signs, wonders, and miracles we are talking about today. The savior of the whole world. The master of Prophet TV Joshua lived 33 years on earth before his glorious exit that brought about salvation to you and I, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the mighty one. He gave my mentor, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, a great commission. He sent him to this earth to win souls for Christ. You and I, you agree with me that this man fought for our salvation. He fought for the salvation of mankind. He fought for the salvation of many, many who were under the shackles and dominion of Satan. The many who were entangled by demons. Many who were possessed by ancestral spirits. Many who could not have children. Many who were crippled. Many who were blind, deaf, and dumb. Jesus Christ used him to rescue them. And not only rescuing them, but brought them to the platform of salvation. Around the whole world. There is testimony about this. In terms of mentorship, he has mentored many. One of those he has mentored is this boy you are looking at. I sat at his foot to learn for many years, which I'm not here to tell you precisely how many years, because we don't boast in what we do for God, rather we boast in what God is doing for us. And I, among others, will forever remain grateful unto him, even in his absence. Because I know he only closed his eyes to this wicked world and opened it to the world of glory, heaven above. Remember I told you, great and mighty ministers of God God's generals, who are today saints all over the world, we know, they are today saints, never live longer than necessary. I know ordinarily as a carnally minded person, as a human being, having flesh and blood, your opinion, my opinion would have been that he should have lived longer than this time. He should have lived to enjoy the fruit of his labor. This is a man who has suffered, who suffered, who walked, who struggled, who fought for the salvation of many. And you are saying, ah, when it is time for him to enjoy, he's gone. Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? The question is, when would have been the right time? How would have been the right time? Remember the Bible says, God allows, God stops, God permits, God terminates, God gives, and God takes at will. Blessed be his holy name. It is true, we would have wanted him to live longer. He fought the battle even up to the point of death. 
and he predicted his exit. Very point clear. Point clear. Check his last message. His last moment on this earth was on the same work of salvation. I remember what he was telling us during the time of mentorship. He said, the greatest thing you can achieve as a man of God, as a child of God, is to start your work in the presence of God and finish it up in the presence of God. What you have met doing on the last day is what God will judge you on. And I'm happy to let you know, this word has been fulfilled in his life. He started the journey of salvation, and he finished the journey of salvation. He was working for God, and he was taking on the same job. Watch his last message. You will know that a prophet received the mind of God, not only for themselves and for others. Not only for others and for themselves. So he knew he was going. His exit took us by surprise. It was a shock to the whole world. But it was never a shock to him. and never took him by surprise. Look at his last message. You will know he predicted clean, clear that he was leaving. And I know God's general has exited this earth and has gone to join the saints in heaven. He will be forever remembered for a mission accomplished in the presence of God. So let me start with our mother in the Lord, the servant Joshua, who has been by him even up to the point of his exit. A wonderful mother. Take heart, mama. We, your spiritual sons, are with you. And I'm happy she's strong because she knows that God does as he wills. And to his biological children, Sarah, who is now Mrs., just got wedded to the glory of God and promise and the last child heart. I know you would have wanted daddy to remain. But take note, he's a messenger of God and a messenger is only obedient to the master. The master says it is time to come home. So he's resting and of course at the right hand. He's resting in the presence of the Lord. He's resting in the presence of the Lord. And I know where he is. It's where every one of us long to be. Take note. It's where every one of us long to be. But many are called, but few are chosen. To the workers in the vineyard, this is a time to hold unity at its highest esteem. This is a time to hold love, togetherness, at its high esteem. He has left behind a mighty legacy that will live forever, even now that he's no longer in the physical. But spiritually, he's much around. This is time we workers, followers, are supposed to come and live as one body. United we stand against the forces of darkness. I know the Lord will strengthen you, strengthen us, for to continue where our mentor has stopped. And to his lovers, viewers, partners, supporters, and friends all over the world, it is true that the whole world that had lost a great prophet, God's general, whose impact will be forever remembered in the history of mankind. But one thing is certain, man proposes, God disposes. Continue your love, continue your loyalty. This is the time to be more committed to the things of God. This is the time to love God more. This is the time to move closer to God the more. To really show that you appreciate what Prophet T.B. Joshua has done in your life before his exit. I want to appreciate 
your love and concern for the immediate family? For the ministry at large? I want to assure you that God, who has called him to rest, will forever oversee what he has left behind. That is certain. A great prophet has gone to rest. A philanthropist has gone to rest. Father to many nations has gone to rest. It is true, we will forever miss him, but we will also forever remember him for a great legacy he has left behind. Thank you very much. I appreciate your love and kind support and kind concern. This is the best time to do it. And as somebody has mentored, this is my message to him. My mentor, my coach, my teacher. You have been a pillar of salvation to many nations. You mentored me. You pointed me to the right path. And I will forever remain faithful. So that where you are, you will ever remain happy. Rest well. Thank you. To God's general, who has now become one of the saints, God bless you.